Get the hands up and pray them home. I'm gonna try to get this thing set up. I thought this was gonna be the right height, but it's not. But anyway, look. Um, spent most of yesterday in Congress, and uh, I had no idea what's going on with the Congress, but evidently we're headed straight for a <coughs> straight for a government shutdown and that's what I was praying for not the government shutdown but for a little action when I got in there I wanted to see some cat fights <coughs> I wanted to see the Republicans going after the Democrats Democrats going after the Republicans but then be careful what you ask for because it was the whole thing turned out to be really, really silly. <coughs> the reason I say that is because the thing that was so obvious to me is I'm in the House of Rep I'm the House of Representatives watching this. I'm not going to use a cliche when it comes to Congress because, well, it's it is a circus. It was a circus. Uh, because let's focus on the Democrats for a minute on the one hand they are screaming up and down about uh, the Republicans cutting everything you know that's what the Republicans are known for is cutting uh, spending and because the Democrats love to spend and but the irony that, and the thing that is so ridiculous to me is on the one hand, Democrats put up this facade of being die hard, uh, passionate about the life of the, the quality of the life of the mother and the children. Save the children, save the children. <coughs> and that's coming out of one side of their mouth. And then on the other side of their mouth, they're complaining because the Republicans are cutting uh, abortion rights. And so the Democrats are saying, save the children out of one side of their mouth, but make it easy to kill the kids through abortion on the other side of their mouth. <coughs> so I, I, I'm, I'm confused the whole time, but at least their speech writers are gifted enough to they the, the, the way they insult each other is uh, at least that part of it is mature and it made me laugh several times very cold in the in the chamber in the House of Representative chambers and a couple of times I tried to put this hoodie up like this and they don't like that they tell they'll come down there and they did it twice they'll tell you to put your hoodie down <coughs> so anyway and then, of the course, on the other side, the Republicans are screaming up and down. We've got a $33 trillion deficit, and they just keep harping on that. We have to, we have to cut out the deficit spending and, you know, screaming at the Democrats. All you want to do is spend and tax, spend and tax, spend and tax. Nothing's changed. It's the same yesterday. It's the same today. So, <clears throat> but it was inter it was entertaining to a certain extent, and uh, so. But this was going on mostly in the evening because I went there for the two the two p.m. session yesterday, and they immediately re adjourned. So I didn't, I, I got there and just had to leave, but came back later that evening and stayed as long as I could stay till about 11 o'clock and uh, uh, was thoroughly entertained. Now the thing that, that kind of is upsetting about the shutdown is going to be the fact that if it does happen, it'll go into effect on October 1st and I, I'm so far, I'm going to be staying through October 4th, 
But if it and but the Supreme Court comes back in session on October second. So if they shut down on October first, obviously I won't be able to get to see him. <coughs> so that's the main reason for me. Now I know it's more serious than that for a lot of you out there, but but at any rate, uh, that's my only dog in the fight. And uh, as you know, I got my house pass from my Gessler, I think his name is, Texas. Highly recommend going by your representative's office. Now I got I went, I went to the Senate building yesterday and got my uh, Senate pass so I can go watch the Senate in session. <coughs> now they yesterday they passed I didn't see it but they passed a stopgap measure to keep the government from shutting down to keep going. But the Democrats, I mean, the House seems to, the House Republicans seem to have their heels dug in because the big issue right now is not just the budget, but the border. You know, Trump started all this nonsense four years ago. And, uh, but look, I'm not a big political watchdog. I find it interesting to see how laws are passed and, uh, I just find it, it's like the bus. I, found, I find Congress is humorous in the same sense that the bus is. Both of them are irritating, but at the same time they're humorous. <coughs> but at any rate, uh, and then I visited the Library of Congress yesterday, just briefly, <coughs> and oh man, the resources there are unbelievable and the guy I talked to met there in the Library of Congress very helpful very nice guy and there's just the, the amount of the volume of things to do uh, to research to download to study is absolutely off the charts mind-blowing but thoroughly enjoyable so I had a good so I spent yesterday, this is my diary entry, yesterday, part of the day, uh, Library of Congress, and then they have a, a nice, in the house, where, where, they, the, where the offices are for the house, at least where my representative was, they got these restaurants that have really, really good prices. And so I went to a steak and shake, and I never eat out. But the prices were so good, and I needed to get coffee also. But I got like a double cheeseburger, which I never get, because I could feel my arteries hardening when I when I ordered that thing. And I got that and the fries, of course. <coughs> if you get a burger, you have to get the fries. And drank my coffee, polished that off. Um, it got cold last night and so I eventually made it I had a lot to do I'm not going to go into detail but I wanted to find a great a, a surface level or ground level grate that has the steam coming out of it that has heat coming out of it and I didn't find one until 4 o'clock in the morning but I did find one and I got about three hours sleep, but right now I'm really tired. And uh, I hope that this this new place, this is the third place I'm hoping will work out because I've only got another, another week before I'm probably gonna end up going down to North Carolina. But all that's in the Lord's hands. And um, I love the Lord, he's spoke, talked to him all day yesterday and uh, we just got a, a sweet sweet uh, conversation back I love him uh, he's, he's, he's been good to me and uh, looking forward to more of that today so love you Lord talk to you today also so get those hands up and on Uh, and, you know, for the most part, people 
don't look at you too strange here in Washington, D.C., but I have got a few strange looks on. How are you?